In my previous video, you've learned how to create a countdown timer in OBS. And as my mission is to make your life easier, I had shared with you six free circle animations that you can download from my website. They're still there, by the way, if you want to download them for free. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. Now, at the end of my previous tutorial, when the timer was getting to zero, it was disappearing, but the animation was still looping, and we had to manually select the next scene. In this video, you're going to learn how to automatically switch to a new scene when the OBS timer comes to an end, so you can have a smooth start into your video call. By the way, if you're struggling with OBS, I have a new course coming up soon that will transform you into a remote presentation hero, and I guarantee by the end of it, OBS will be your best friend. So time for the timer now. Let's go and do it together. The first scene that we will create is the countdown scene. So let's rename the scene to countdown. And let's add a text source that I will call countdown text. And insert some random text, for example, countdown. I will then add a circle animation as a media source. On my website, you'll find some free ones, as well as some flag-colored ones, like this red, white, red one, as I'm Italian, but I live in Switzerland. The animation lasts two seconds and will be already perfectly synced with the timer. The only thing we need to do is to go to properties and loop it. Let's now transform the text into a countdown. To do so, go to tools, then scripts, and in my previous video, we used the countdown.lua script to create the timer. Now, if we want to automatically switch to another scene at the end of the countdown, we'll have to download a new script. Just Google for countdown timer with optional next scene. You'll be brought to this page and just download the script. Now you should be able to find your countdown days script in the downloads folder. To copy it into the proper OBS script folder, from OBS, just go to Tools, Scripts and click plus again. Then from the dialog box, go to the Downloads folder, copy the file and click the back arrow that will take you back exactly to the OBS Scripts folder. So there is no chance to get it wrong. Paste the file, select it and click on Open. In the timer source, let's select the text to which we want to apply the script. We only have one text source. So let's pick the countdown text. We've only created one scene, so we don't have another scene for the automatic switch. Let's select the duration for the timer of one minute. Let's crop the text source, make it larger, position it at the center, make it thicker, and add a gradient. I'll do a white to red to be in line with the color of the animation. The countdown has ended, and as we don't have another scene, OBS stays on the countdown scene with the animation that keeps looping. So let's create another scene, which is the scene that we will want to transition to. Let's go back to Tools and Scripts, and let's look for the intro scene. Well, actually, we don't see it. There are two important things that you should be aware of when using this script. First one, as you can see, is that if you add a scene after you've launched the script, the scene will not appear in the list. So we have to remove the script and then add it again. And now the intro scene is there. As you may have noticed, I have first selected the duration and then I've chosen the next scene. This is the second thing to be aware of. If you first choose the next scene, then for whatever reason, you won't be able to add the duration. That's probably a bug in the script, but if you follow the steps in the order that I have indicated, everything will work smoothly you can still change the duration. So let's change it from one minute to 10 seconds. Okay, we're set. Click on close and here we go. We have our countdown timer that switches automatically to the intro scene. If you're finding this video useful so far, please hit the like button so more people will be able to watch it. Since we want to work on other scenes, let's change the duration back to one minute. Otherwise, OBS will always switch to the intro scene at the end of the 10 seconds. OK, let's create now a camera scene where I will insert my Sony camera. And another scene that I will call Waiting that I will use to include the countdown at the beginning of the session. Let me also create an empty divider scene that I'll use as a separator between the countdown and camera scenes that will be used as sources scenes and the waiting and intro scenes that will be the actual scenes that I'll use during the video call. As usual, I'm following the best practice of working with nested scenes. So in the waiting scene, 
I will add the countdown scene as a source, as well as the camera scene. And I'll place the camera underneath the countdown to make it nicer and communicate to the audience that I'm there but the meeting has not started yet. I will add a color source, choose black as color, and then add a color correction filter. Just play with the opacity until you've reached the result that you want. Then make sure that the countdown scene is on top of the color source scene. In the intro scene, I'll include the camera nested scene and I will also add a welcome message. So let's add a text, write welcome, make it Arial black, choose yellow background and turn the opacity to 100% and add one space at the beginning and one at the end to make it look nicer. Let's resize it and reposition it. And that's my intro scene. The last thing I'm going to do is to add a text in the waiting scene saying session starts in. And that's it. Let's change the duration of the countdown to 10 seconds to verify that it works. And five, four, three, hands up. And welcome! Congratulations, you're now the master of OBS timers. If you want to take one step further, watch one of these next two videos on OBS. This one or this one? Just click.